So it was Christmas yesterday. It's 2018. And so, you know, you do the old Christmas thing. But sooner or later, you find yourself back at that computer browsing around. Eventually, you're making it to YouTube because that's pretty much the new television, right? Um, but uh, a lot of times, a lot of people have their homepage set to Google. Uh, they've sort of taken over the collective mindset or something. But I don't know if you realize it, but when you go to Google, every time that you get there, that Google moniker at the top, that where it says Google, it always represents something. And from day to day, it changes. And through the course of the year, you'll find that the most esoteric people are celebrated through that Google logo. Um, sometimes you'll see some weird designs on there or something. You say, geez, what is that? And you double click. Or, or when you hover over, that will be another indication. But you click on it, and it'll take you to, um, and it could be the most esoteric crap that you'd ever imagine. Uh, somebody, oh, today would be 167 years old, and they invented, uh, you know, the B string on the, the ukulele or, or something, or, or they invented the, the, some kind of weird stitching pattern for some something or other. And every day, of the, every day, there's something else on there. Well, here we are. And it was Christmas Day 2018, and I just, I had the sense, geez, if I go to Google, you would think that because Christmas Day is basically based on Christian, on Christ, you know, Jesus, and he was an actual figure. Jesus Christ was an actual guy who was alive and was dead and was on the earth. And we celebrate, even though it may not be his actual birthday, but December 25th is Christmas Day. It celebrates the day that Jesus Christ was born. No matter what you want to believe or disbelieve or whatever about the guy, or you want to despise him or you don't want to do whatever. Christmas Day is is basically, it, it it's originates out of the birthday of this man named Jesus Christ. And I'm purposefully staying away from the religious part of it. So you would think that if you go to Google and you see their stupid logo there, that it would say like, oh, you know what, this dude Jesus Christ was born and uh, maybe it wasn't on this day, but we celebrate this day or this day originates from the fact that the guy was a real guy and he was born on some specific freaking day. So here Christmas Day, this is the day we do it. I mean, it was 2,000 damn years ago, was given more or less or something, uh, so maybe we don't know the exact day. But no, you go to Google, and, and it's like, it's like, you know, the, the, you know, you remember these losers? You know, all these, these, these freaking uh, whiners and criers, you know, this dirt bag, you know? He can't shave. He can't drag a comb through his hair. He probably didn't even shower that day. I mean, I'm looking at his shirt. I'm just thinking, like, all the bacteria and stuff that's, like, hanging around, like, his neck collar and everything. And he's probably sweating a little bit. This guy's freaking, you know, all these losers. Uh, this is from when they were crying about, uh, God forbid, the Trump one. And, and you would think, you wonder what the hell they believe that they're so upset. I mean, this lady, this lady's freaking crying. I'm just going to the background. These these people these people think that they're so smart that they're they're so genius that they know every damn thing. And what they're going to do is they're going to put out every day of the year some freaking weird, uh, esoteric, no name who, who the hell you know celebrates somebody that you never freaking heard of. And as soon as you leave the page, you don't you forget who it was. And here it is, Christmas Day, and the last thing that these freaking miserable people can mention is that it was the, it represents the day Jesus Christ was born. That's the last thing these dirtbags will ever want to freaking admit. And you go here and you look. So you click on the link and, and it brings you not to anything about Christmas but happy holidays. And you get this dumbass crap about, oh, what's the alternative meaning? What's the meaning of happy holidays? I mean, they're, they're hinting at, at what's wrong. 
And then you get this other, oh, you want to be a contrarian? Yeah, I'll just mention happy holidays. And uh, you're a real rebel when you do that, you know, because that old Christmas crap, you know, that that's for them old folks, them, them old messed up people. And then you look, you know, happy holidays, happy holidays, and all this crap, you know. And it, it's like the most absurd, ridiculous garbage you can think of. And then what you do is you, you, you go and you click on what does happy holidays mean? You know, what, what exactly is that? And then you find that happy holidays is a reference, a general reference to the season, to Hanukkah, to Kwanzaa, you know, Thanksgiving, you know, all the crap that happens on the holidays. And, and, you know, so you go ahead and you search on happy holidays meaning. And then you go ahead, you click it, and then you find all this crap about, well, it's, it's a generic, generic coverall. You know, we, we're going to get everything in the boat here, you know. But the thing is, is it's Christmas Day. And the second thing is, if you look at the stupid-ass logo, it isn't Happy Holidays. There's no Kwanzaa stuff on there. There's no Hanukkah stuff on there. There's no thing. It's all Christmas. There's a Christmas tree. There's a Santa Claus. There's a stupid sleigh. There's some sick-looking thing. Looks like a reindeer, I guess. Looks like some kind of sick dog or something. It's just, it's just really wrong. It's really sick in the mind, you know. And when you look at it, it's pretty clear that they know what they're doing, right? It's like, oh, well, you know, we're cool with everything except anything that has to do with Jesus, you know, because it's Christmas, it's the root word is Christ. They should have just put Xmas. Well, no, they, didn't, they couldn't even do that, right? It's happy holidays, right? December 25th, and all Google can do is say, oh, happy holidays, and show some stupid-ass pictures of some like really meaningless all right look i just needed to get this off my chest because this is some crap and google is full of crap and you know i, I can't stand christian virtue signalers you know uh, people who quote scripture at you you know i, I grew up in a christian I, I you know i i like i was born that way it was never a big deal it was just the whole my whole life you know i, I floated away from it i was a back to it i floated away from it but it's, to me it's culturally part of my background you know, I, I, I can't stand these Christians who have been Christian for like 20 minutes, and they think that they're going to tell me about what Christianity means, right? So I don't like to go over the top about it, but the thing is, is that this Google, the YouTube, uh, you know, these snotty uh, millennial whatever, I don't know who's running this thing, these dirtbag, unshaven, filthy motherfuckers, frickers, I, I just, it, it just bothers me how passively aggressively they avoid the fact of what christmas actually is and i just need to get that off my chest so thank you very much i appreciate watching and enjoy the rest of the happy holidays and have a happy new year thanks